In this video, we're going to look and see how to actually return real prices from the API. So I'll start off by forking the previous version. Call this three. And now to actually retrieve the prices, I'm going to use a product from a site called CoinGecko. So if we go over here to products and crypto API, see there's a free API that can be used to get information about various cryptocurrencies. If I go to Explore Docs, there will be this Swagger-like interface again, and the one that I'm interested in is slash simple slash price, which will get the current price given an ID. So if I expand that and click Try It Out, it's going to require an ID, or rather a common separated list of IDs, but I'm just going to use one here, Bitcoin, and then the same with currencies, and I'll just say USD. Now if I scroll down and click Execute, you can see at the JSON that comes back, uh, the keys of the JSON are the IDs of the coins, and the values for each of those keys are yet an, more JSON, another JSON object, and the keys are the currencies. So I can copy this key right, this uh, URL rather, right here, go back into REPLIT, and I'm going to create a, well, first of all, what I need to do is I need to import requests, which is automatically installed with every REPL. And then I'll say coin gecko URL, paste that in, and I'm going to remove the coin ID and replace it with curly braces. And then I'm going to create a new function. I'll say def get coin gecko price, and that's going to take a coin ID. And all I need to do is say the coin data, rather, coin data, is going to be requests.get and then coin gecko URL dot format, format, uh, the coin ID. That will make the call and get back the uh, response and then to get the JSON out of it, all I have to do is call the JSON, call the JSON method. And this will return the JSON as a Python dictionary. Now all, all I need to do is return coin data. Remember I want to, the first key is going to be the ID of the coin and the second ID is going to, the second key is going to be the currency which is hard-coded to USD. Now in here all I need to do is just return, is go in here, get the coin price. It's going to be equal to get coin gecko price with the coin ID and then I can modify my message here to include the price of the coin which is going to always be in USD so I'll put the dollar sign and then say coin price. There, that should work. Okay, great. So now if I go into my shell, go uvicorn, main app, double dash reload, double dash host to listen on all IPs, double dash port to be 5,000. Copy the URL, open another shell, run HTTP, get, and paste the URL, slash coin, slash Bitcoin. And there's the current price of Bitcoin. $20,191.